Hello everyone, welcome to the explanation. So this is our video tutorial on the topic protocols and standards. So this comes under chapter one that is introduction to computer network. So the questions that can be asked from this topic is in the form of short notes or in the form of short questions. Okay, so I'll at the end of the video, I'll be discussing some questions also like what type of questions they can ask from this topic. So what's, let's start the topic first. So what is protocol? So protocol means rules. Okay, so what is protocol? A protocol is a set of rules that governs data communication. It means that it controls the data communication in the sense that what is communicated, how it is communicated and when it is communicated. So all these questions are answered by these protocols. So there are three key elements of protocols. They are syntax, semantics and timing. So syntax means structure of data or format of data we can say. Semantics means meaning of data. And timing means when the data should be sent, okay, or the speed at which sender and receiver they are sending and receiving the data respectively. Fine. So let's see in detail. So what is syntax? Syntax is the structure or format of data. It indicates how to read the bit, okay. That is field delineation. That is called border or boundary. And syntax should be same in sender and receiver for communication. Okay, so uh, the uh, the data that sender is sending and the data that the receiver is receiving, the structure should be same. Next is semantic. So semantic it interprets the meaning of the bits. Okay, so it knows which field defines what actions. Okay, so while we are sending the data, so it has a number of fields. Okay, so each field has some meaning. So that is defined by semantic. So interpretation of the syntax would be same. Next, what is timing? So timing is when data should be sent, okay, and what data should be sent, and speed at which the data is sending, speed at which the sender is sending the data, and speed at which the receiver is receiving the data. So it is also defined by timing. So next topic is the standards. Okay, so what is the standard? Standard means guideline that every manufacturer, you can say every manufacturer or vendor who is uh, manufacturing an device, okay, so they have to follow a certain guidelines to ensure that, okay, there is interconnectivity in today's marketplace, okay, so you can see this standard provides guidelines to manufacturers, vendors and government agencies and other service providers to ensure the kind of interconnectivity necessary in today's marketplace and in international communication okay so there should be certain guideline when you are producing or when you are manufacturing any product so that is called standards standards are essential in creating maintaining an open and competitive market for equipment manufacturer and in guaranteeing okay so you cannot uh, you cannot produce or you cannot manufacture whatever you want okay so there is a certain guideline that you have to follow while manufacturing the uh, uh, any you know any equipment or any devices so this data communication standards, it falls into two categories, okay. So this is some, so, something confusing, okay, that a student doesn't understand this. So this is de facto and de jure, okay. So this de facto means that by fact, okay, or by convention, okay, by fact or by convention, that is, it, it, it is not by law, okay, it is not approved by any law, it is just a fact or by convention. And de jure means that by law or by regulation, that is, it has been approved by some uh, organization or some law so that comes under de jure so let's see de facto okay so standards that have not been approved by any organized body but have been adopted okay so it has not been approved by law but it has been adopted as, as a standard and also it has been used widespreadly so de facto standards are often established originally by the manufacturers who seek to define the functionality of a new product, okay. So some manufacturers while producing new product, what they do is they define the standard themselves, okay. So it is not defined by the law. Next is these your, so these standards, they are defined by the law or by the regulations, okay. So these, these standards, they are recognized officially or by organization, okay. So so of the organization standards organization standards are developed through the cooperation of standards creation committee forum and government regulatory agencies okay so you know any guideline okay so for any for developing any guideline it takes uh, uh, timing okay so it takes time and it takes um, uh, decision of many organizations or standards or committees 
Fine. So standard creation committees. So while many organizations are dedicated to establishment of standards, data communication in North America rely primarily on those published by the following. Okay. So these are some of the standards organization. So sometimes the uh, even uh, some questions have been asked like uh, define about some standards organization. Okay. So you can write uh, any five of them. Okay. So I'll be discussing one by one. So first one is. International Organization for Standardization that is ISO. Okay, so you might have heard about this ISO. So ISO is a multi multinational body whose membership is drawn mainly from a standards creation committee of various government throughout the world. The ISO is active in developing cooperation in the field of scientific and technological and economic activity. Okay, so remember this this ISO. Okay, so ISO it falls for scientific, technological, and economical activity. Next is International Telecommunication Union Telecommunication Standards Sector. So it stands for ITUT. Okay, one more thing. Remember, all these are important for MCQ question. If they ask for full form, okay. So what is the full form of NC? What is the full form of IEEE? ITUT, ISO. So remember the full forms. So ITUT, this committee was developed to the research and establishment of standard for telecommunications in general and for phone and data system in particular. Okay, so it falls in the field of telecommunication. Next is American National Standards Institute, that is NC. Okay, so this is one of the important MCQ question. Despite its name, the American National Standards Institute is completely private, non-profit corporation, not affiliated with the U.S. federal government. Okay, so this is a private organization. However, all the NC activities are undertaken with the welfare of United States and its citizen occupying primary importance. Next is IEEE. Okay, so the, again, this is one of the important full form that is Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. So it is the largest professional engineering society in the world. Okay, so this is one of the largest engineering society international in scope. It aims to be advanced theory, creativity, and product quality in the field of electrical engineering, electronics, and radio, as well as all related branches. Okay, so whatever it de it deals with electrical engineer or electronics engineer, it falls for under IEEE organization. As one of its goal, IEEE oversees the development and adoption of international standard for computing and communication. So they are expanding uh, their areas in the field of electronics and communication. You can say. Next is Electronic Industry Association, that is EIA. So aligned with NC, it is non-profit organization. Again, this is one of the non-profit organization devoted to the promotion of electronics and manufacturing concerns. Okay, again, this is. Um, this comes under the area uh, like uh, the areas that comes under EIER electronics electronics manufacturing. So its activity include public awareness, education, and effort in addition to standard development in the field of information technology. The EIE has made significant contributions by defining physical connection interface and electronic signaling specification for data communication. Okay, so the main uh, area that falls in this EIA is like um, data communication. Okay, following the electrical electronic signaling or physical connection interfaces. Fine. So these are some of the standards. So at the end, uh, let me discuss the questions that that can be asked from this topic. So the first question can be define uh, protocol. Okay, or define a standard for one marks. Next question can be define protocol. Okay, for two or three marks. So you can write. You have to write all the elements also. Next question can be what are de facto and de jure? Okay, so this can be asked in MCQ or in short like one marks question. Okay, so next is uh, write about some standards organization. So this can be asked for three to four marks. So you have to write about five organization. Fine. So these are the probable questions. Uh, I hope you understand the video. So in next video tutorial, I'll be discussing about the next topic that is OSI reference model. Okay. Till then, stay safe and thank you for watching our video. Like, share, and subscribe our channel. Thank you.